Floor 100, Crazy Nerzak, last boss. Here we go. Now the key here is to bring a taunt champion and make sure that they go fast. As you can see, we got a giant wall of rewards just from completing Void Tower. And as you know, my team was Brand, Nathalia, Zalux, and Lunar Mel for the AoE taunt. And Lunar Mel is fantastic. She works really, really well on the last few floors to lock out the enemy abilities. Hello everybody, my name is Bear Cozy. Today we're actually going to continue running Void Tower and we're gonna focus on clearing the last 10 floors. And I wanna talk about the last nine floors, especially the last five, because I know a lot of people get stuck there, including a bunch of my friends. So if you don't know me and it's your first time here, my name is Bear Cozy. I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational videos. And I like to make account progress videos because for me, that's where all the fun is. And today, what I want to talk about is actually Void Tower and uh, the last 10 levels. Now, we currently have gone through all this together and we got a giant wall of uh, resources here. We have a giant wall of rewards, which is really, really cool. The last one to get is floor 100 and we're going to do that together. And then, of course, we're going to claim it all together. And I'm really looking forward to this ancient summoning crystal. And that is going to have to be a video in itself because I have three. That's going to put me to four, plus all the other things, plus all the Stardust. So I will make a video when I get some more, and then we're actually going to pop them all together. So that's going to be a really cool video. I like to save up till I have a bunch of stuff and then just pop it all at once. All right, so here's what we did in the last Void Tower video. We ran multi. Now, if you don't know, once you clear Void Tower once, this is on common difficulty, by the way. Once you clear Void Tower once, you can run multi-battles, and when you click this, you can actually choose the floor that it ends on. So if you wanted to, you can run all 100 floors. I ran most of these floors with just Zatlux, I think up until about 80 or so, 70, 70 something. So just with Zatlux, go back and check out that video. I did not film everything because it took a while. I filmed some of it, and then I left it on auto, and I went away went to have a cup of coffee, went to have some lunch, and I wanted to stop here. And I wanted to stop here for a couple of reasons. The first one being is because people typically get stuck on wave 80, wave 90, floor, I should say floor 80, floor 90, because of the bosses. Now, right now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this one at a time. So here's the team that works for me really well all the way through, but primarily in the later few stages. Brand is good for buffs to activate Nathalia's trait. If you don't have her, you can use Evira, you can use Valeria. There are some other ones that you can use. Cyrus is very, very weak. Garel is more sustainy. You probably need Antonua is fantastic. You can use Antonua. And I use Zatlux to clean up the waves. And then I use Lunar Mel. So what I'm going to do is actually Lunar Mel has taunt and she's really, really good. Light Heroes just got a buff, which is nice on their focus. And now she has a lot more focus than she had before. Bruzak will work for this as well. If we pull Lunar Mel out, we use Bruzak. Bruzak will work very well for this as well. However, mine doesn't have any gear. So right now I use Lunar Mel in Arena and uh, she has all the best gear. Bruzak is naked. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are on floor 91. I'm gonna let them rip on auto. As you can see, Brand goes with the buffs. Lunar Mel actually goes, and then it's Nathalia and uh, Zatlux. So this is okay. Nathalia is fairly strong, and I don't really use Zatlux that much, but um, Zatlux is really, really good to clean up some of the other waves. And as I've mentioned, I cleared most of this with just Zatlux, and uh, he's coming along really nice. I've put a lot of work into him, and his gears come along nicely. He is a little bit slow. I do need to probably put everybody in speed boots. The only one that's in speed boots right now, I believe, is, is uh, Lunar Mel. Maybe Brand as well. I have to go look at that. I know Zatlux and Nathalia, which are interchangeable with any of the damage dealers, any of the nukers, those are both in attack boots. Going into floor 95, here is the rotation. Typically, what I do is, if, you, if there is a boss, you can save all of your defense down spells, and you can just go ahead and use the basic with Lunar Mel. Lunar Mel is actually faster than Brand now, that's interesting. Buff with Brand, and then what we're going to do is, we're going to save all of the AoE taunts on Lunar Mel, and we're going to unleash Nathalia's AoE here. We're going to unleash Zatlux's if there's anybody left, which there should not be. And then this is just going to be a rinse and repeat. Basic with Lunar Mel because we're saving that. Basic with Brand on whoever. Nathalia gets her ultimate reset if she kills anybody. So we're going to use that. 
And then Xilinx comes in and cleans it up and we are on the third wave. And this is right here, this is exactly why we saved Lunar Melt. So here's what we're gonna do. Since Lunar Melt has the most focus, we're gonna go defense down, then we're gonna go AoE taunt. And this strategy works really, really well, especially with Mathasia bosses, right? If there's Mathasia at the end, we usually save, I personally save Lunar Mel's AoE taunt. Brand's gonna do his buffs. We are gonna save this Water Prison for the next turn. And then we're just gonna nuke away with Nathalia. And Antonua works really, really well. However, Zatlux has my best gear. And you can see we didn't even need to taunt there because Nathalia actually cleaned them all up really, really easy. So this is floor 96, floor 95 we just seen. I am gonna put this on auto which means Lunar Mel is going to go first. She's going to use her AoE taunt. It is not needed here, but going in to Void Tower floors, you can see who the end bosses are, and unless they have Mathasia, I'm not worried about it. I know my team can clear it on auto, which is really cool. And then when we get to Mathasia, we're going to talk a little bit more about it. We're going to figure out what's going on. Let's see if we can uh, kill uh, Zitlin in the back there. Hector, of course, is a good one. The other ones I'm not too worried about. Nathalia does enough damage on her own to be a big threat to almost kill everybody. And, uh, you know, Zatlux is just a monster. So there we go. There is floor 96. We got a few more left, and we're going to continue moving right along. All right, this is floor 97. As you can see, the enemy teams are up on the right, and this should be no problem. Valeria is fairly easy to kill. She does a lot of damage, but she is fairly easy to take down. So we are going to go in on auto. This should be fine. Okay, here we go. Valeria is the last boss. Now, I want to most likely target her. I don't really want to attack Vidar. Valeria, she needs to die. Of course, Nathalia is really strong versus fire, so that's in our benefit, which is really, really good. And then we bring in Zatlux to clean up the rest of the waves. So that is that. Floor 98 is going to be basically the same. What I do want to target is Antonua in the back. Because of the multi-turns, Antonua scares me a little bit because I know mine takes a lot of turns. But I am going to run this on auto. Hopefully Zatlux won't die and he's dead. Well, that's not good. But we should still be able to clear this fairly easy. My, uh, my heroes are a little bit slower. They probably need speed boots. However, or I could have manualed this with, uh, with Lunar Mel. And if we manual it, it should be... Should be fine, actually. But I don't like the manual till the last floor. And I only manual to make sure we get the stuns correctly. We get the taunts. We rotate our stuns and taunts to make sure that Mathasia does not res anybody. So that is the plan going in. Zalex should be back up on the next floor. And then we're going to go into floor 100. There we go. Nathalia should. Now, Nathalia is actually weak, but she still cleans it up, which is very, very good. She is weak to wood because she is water. Floor 99, as you could see right here on floor 99, we have Mathasia and Urzag and uh, Lydia, I believe, and Joseph. The last two I'm not too worried about, but Mathasia and Urzag, I am concerned. And as I've mentioned, Brand here is to activate Nathalia's trait to help her out because she does need buffs. And then Lunar Mel here is to lock out the enemy team. Going in to floor 99, we know that the boss is Mathasia, so I am going to use Mel's basic. I am going to manual just the first wave and you could see that it's wave one of two so all i have to do is just manual the first wave and it should go very very well if we had three waves we know the boss is on wave three and we can manual the first two so here's what i'm going to do here's the rotation now lunar mel is fast for a reason hey you're still watching the video that means you're enjoying the content. And if you're enjoying the content, that means somebody else will also. Click the subscribe button below and help this video reach more people so they can enjoy it as well. She is in, I believe she's in two Raider sets, maybe three. I don't know if I have three Raider sets to make her work, but she is definitely in speed boots, 100% speed boots. And that took me some farming. And that actually, I actually had to farm speed boots from campaign. So that took a little while from adventure. But uh, there are stages where you can just farm Raider Boots. So here's what we're going to do. Since Luna Mel is fast, she is right around 200 speed, which is very, very fast. It took some time for me to get there. But we are going to go in with the defense down. Then we are going to go in with the AoE taunt, which is why we saved it for this reason. We want to make sure that nobody has their ultimates available, including Mathasia. We want to make sure that she does not have a revive. Now, since I have Brand here, you can use uh, Jonathan here if you have him. Since I have Brander, you can use actually Charles as well. We're going to go ahead and attack Lydia back there, hoping to land a taunt, and we did. So that is really, really good. Right now, everyone is taunted, 
and we are just going to take it nice and slow because the name of the game right now is control until you have so much damage that you can just blast your way through. Now, Nathalia did a ton of damage, almost killing Mephasia here, and then Zatlux should be able to clean her up. And after that, we are not really concerned because she's not reviving anybody. She's dead. Floor 100. Here's the team. Craze, Derzak, William, CC, and uh, what's his face in the back? I always forget his name, but he's in there. Okay, so same thing here. We do have three waves, so I am going to manual the first two waves. I am going to use basics. The nice thing about three waves is a brand should have his buffs up again by the time we get to the end, which is nice. Now, Math Nathalia is going to nuke here, and uh, I'm really glad I built Nathalia. She has ascended all the way. That took some time. Most of those potions came from the Endless Trial, and that is what I had to do to get her there. Let's go ahead and use the basic from Lunar Mel as well. And as I've mentioned, anybody with an AoE taunt will work. I really like Bruzag. However, I used Lunar Mel's a little bit better in the AoE taunt department, so I'm using her. She's actually a lot better than I originally thought. I built Bruzag first. I held off on Lunar Mel, and then when I tried her at 50, I ended up really, really liking her, so I kept her. Okay, Floor 100, Crazed Urzag, last boss. Here we go. Now, the key here is to bring a taunt champion and make sure that they go fast. My taunt hero is Lunar Mel, and she is very, very fast. She's right around 200 speed, and that took some work. So since Lunar Mel has the most focus, what we're going to do is we're going to use Sundering Purgatory on everybody. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the AoE taunt on everyone. Now, CC, that's not going to affect CC, of course, because we have to break that off in the back. So what we are going to do, I'm going to buff everyone. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Nathalia to use this Water Prison, and that's exactly why we run Sundering Purgatory for the defense down and the Watering Prison for the last boss. So what we are going to do is we're going to use Nathalia to use the Water Prison on CC, stun her, that will lock her out, and now everybody is taunted and CC is stunned. And that is Jacob, by the way. I always forget his name because I don't have him, but uh, that is Jacob. So here we go. Nathalia is going to do her nuke. She's most likely not going to kill everybody, although she did a fantastic job. Wow, I'm actually impressed. She's a lot stronger than she was a month ago. Now, this is going to be easy. So for me, she nuked half the team right there. Crazy Durzak is most likely going to die from Zatlux. If you're at this point and you need a few more turns, what you can do instead of Brand, you can bring Winstrix if you have Winstrix, and that way you don't need everybody as fast. And same thing... Same rules apply with Winstrix. Make sure her ultimate is available on the last turn because you want to go first. And if you have to, go slow and spend a couple of turns. If you have to use two or three turns to take these guys down, that's fine. What you can do is you can use Winstrix or you can use anybody else that has taunt and you can double taunt. Taunt the first turn, unload, unleash, and then go into the second turn, use your stun and taunt again. I'm going to go ahead and use Craze Durzag here, or, or uh, kill Craze Durzag with Zatlux, and CC just dies, so that's kind of cool. So here's the team. They It works really, really well for me, and I've been using this team for a couple of months. It's working. I really enjoy the synergy here. We got buffs, we got AoE taunts, and then, of course, we have our damage. And as I've mentioned, if you need to take a couple of turns on the last boss, take three or four turns to take him down. Just make sure your taunt is available and bring Winstrix if you have to. Winstrix will help a lot. And there we go. We are on hard Void Tower, which is kind of cool. Now, I haven't tried this yet. I probably need to start. And this is going to be very, very interesting. I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. I got 10 days left and I'm making it through. What I do want to do is I want to go back and I want to claim all of the rewards Let's do it this way. Let's go to Void Tower and let's go ahead and claim all the re rewards. As you can see, we got a giant wall of rewards just from completing Void Tower. And we are going to claim this together. However, I'm not going to pop all these together. This video is getting a little bit longer, but we are going to claim this together on camera. And as you know, my team was Brand, Nathalia, Zatlux, and Lunar Mel for the AoE taunt. And Lunar Mel is fantastic. She works really, really well on the last few floors to lock out the enemy abilities, the enemy's ultimates. And there we go. We got all of our rewards claimed, which is really, really cool. We are going to be popping all these together, but I really like all these diamonds. All these diamonds are absolutely fantastic, and that is such a good sight. I do need them, and I can buy some more shards with them. Common Void Tower is clear. I am going to be moving on to hard very, very soon. So that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if it helped you clear Void Tower. 
And I'd be very, very glad to hear if you made it all the way through, especially if it's your first time. And if you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. Doing those two things will help my channel grow. These videos do take a long time to make and edit. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and I'll see you in the next video.